Welcome to the Grade 8 Hinged Block Bandsaw Design Project. During the design phase of this project, you will begin to use some complex geometry in Google SketchUp, including making components and using the intersect with model function. Moving into the building phase of the project, you will learn how to safely use the bandsaw to do internal and external cuts, both concave and convex. Students are urged to stop, start, and replay this video as much as needed in order to complete the assignment to the best of your abilities. Let's start with the groove component. First, let's make a rectangle. Click R on your keyboard, click and release, and then drag your mouse. Hit 5, 1, and hit Enter. Now let's make this 3D using the push-pull tool. Hit P on your keyboard, click, release, and move your mouse up. Hit 3 and hit enter. Now we need to select all by hitting Control A, Control C to copy, and Control V to paste. Move the mouse to the right and click to put the shape down. Now we need to group all of our faces and edges together into a component. Hit spacebar, click and drag to select the box, and then hit G. In the dialog box, type the word groove. Do the same thing with the other box. Select it. Hit G, but this one we will call the tongue. Now double click to get inside the groove component and we're ready for the next step. We need some guidelines, so let's hit T for the tape measure tool. Click at the top of the shape, move the mouse down, hit 1 and hit enter. Click at the top again, move the mouse down again and hit 2 and hit enter. From the side we'll click, hit 1.25, hit enter. Next, we're going to orbit to the top. And once we get to the top, we're going to click on the right-hand side, move over one inch, and hit Enter. Now we need two diagonal lines to show us the center of the square that we just made. Now it's time to make the hole for the dowel, which will be the center of the hinge. Click C on your keyboard, and then move your mouse to the center of the two diagonal lines. Click on that point and move your mouse. Type 1 over 8, which is the radius of a circle that has diameter 1 over 4, and hit enter. Now it's time to drill a hole. Type P on your keyboard, click on the circle, and push it down. You can do this two ways. Either move your mouse to the bottom till it says on edge with a red dot, or you can hit the number 3 and hit enter. You could use the rectangle tool for this next task, but let's hit L and use the line tool to make three lines on our shape using the guidelines. Next, use the push-pull tool to reveal the cylinder that is in the center of the shape. This is where things get slightly tricky, as we try to delete the cylinder, which is actually the hole through the center of the shape. And if we just click on it and hit delete, we won't get what we inspect. Instead, what we need to do is hit spacebar, right-click, and hit intersect with model. We need to do this for top and bottom. Then we can click on the cylinder, hit delete, Click on the circles, both top and bottom, and then hit delete, and if you orbit over top, you will still see that your hole exists all the way through. Now let's use the eraser tool. Click E on your keyboard and delete all of the guidelines except the two diagonal lines on the top. We're going to need those in a minute. Hit spacebar and click to get out of your shape. Orbit to the top. Draw two lines outside of your component over top of the guidelines that are inside your component. Next, hit spacebar, double click to get back inside your shape and erase your two guidelines. The groove component is now complete. Now it's time to start working on the tongue component. The first part of the tongue component is identical to the beginning of the groove component. What you're going to do is draw your guidelines 1.25 inches from the side, 1 and 2 inches from the top, at the top left, one inch and two diagonal lines through the square. Make a circle with diameter one over four which has a radius of one over eight. Click P and then push it down. Remember you can orbit to look straight down the hole to make sure it goes all the way through. It's at this point where things differ from our previous shape. Now we need to make two sets of lines above and below following our guidelines to make the tongue component. We're not boxing the center, we're boxing the top and bottom. So if we try to push pull this into the shape though, we notice that we get stuck at the circle on the edge. 
you'll see that it says offset is limited to 5 over 8. So we need to try something different. Hit escape on your keyboard and we need to go back to the tape measure tool. So hit T and what we're going to do is click on the left edge, move across and hit 1.25 or click on our existing guide point. Now we need to hit L for line and create a line. Now we should be able to push down with no problem. Click on the line to make sure it gets the right depth. And while we're here, let's use the eraser tool to erase our guidelines to make it a bit neater. Don't erase the one and a quarter inch guideline because you're going to need it when you get to the bottom. Use the tape measure tool. Click on the left side. Move it over and line it up with our existing one and a quarter inch line. Hit L. Draw the line. P for push pull. And move it up and hit our existing guideline at one inch. There we go. Now all that's left is to erase our guidelines and make a small little mark that will help us when we line up the tongue in the groove. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the tape measure tool, click on the left of the tongue, move it over half an inch, 0.5, hit enter, and draw a line. Hit E for eraser and erase our guideline. Now hit spacebar and double click on the groove component. Hit T for tape measure, move the tape measure in half an inch again, L for line, and draw two lines on our shape. Hit E for eraser, and now we're ready for our next step. To round the components where the tongue and groove connect, we need to use a new tool, the arc tool. So hit A on your keyboard. Move your mouse over top of the intersection of the lines we just made. Move the mouse across the shape and make sure that it shows a colored line, not a black line. Move it until it reaches the edge and says half circle and then orbit and do the same thing in the lower part of the groove. Move it across, make sure it's the right color, that it's inferring correctly a perpendicular line and click on the half circle. Next we hit P for push pull and move all of the sections down that we just created. Once you've pushed all four sections, hit spacebar and double click on the tongue component and we're going to do the exact same thing. Hit A, drag the line across, move it till it's at the end, click, hit P for push-pull, and move both sides down. The reason why we have to round these edges is that because when we build our actual components in the shop, if we don't round the edges, the pieces will contact each other and end up jamming. Now all that's left is to create a dowel and then bring our two components together with the dowel through the center of the hole. This is where the X comes into play, the one that we left on the surface of the groove component. What we need to do is make a square using the R or rectangle tool. Click C and make a circle in the middle. And of course our circle size is radius 1 over 8. Now if we try to pull the shape up, we're going to run into some difficulty. So let's see what happens. Use the eraser tool and erase the sides. And then select the shape and hit G. If you get the shape in the background, just hit shift and then click on that shape and it will disappear. Hit G and now we have our dowel component. So when we try to move this to the center, we can't find the center of the dowel. So as I move my mouse around, you'll see that I can't find it. And I try different ways and it just will not work. There, finally I found it, but that took entirely too long. Let's try a different method that will actually make this easier and faster. So we're going to start by making our square again. Make sure it's exactly a square.
rectangle, tape measure, press paw, the root.